my level. Get on my level. Matt McClung fades the dunk contest. I'm too flat. Gets upstairs. Get on my level. Oh, he is back. Of course, he's the slam dunk champion from last year. Played for the Bulls, Lakers, Sixers, 2023 G League champion. And right now, by the way, Mac, uh, G League player of the month. So what's the deal? When, when do we expect you back on an NBA floor? Talk to us. Yeah, I mean, I don't have the answer to that. Uh, that's, that's all in other people's hands. But, you know, all I'm doing right now is just staying ready and just making sure I'm prepared when that moment comes. Stay ready. Be ready. Mac, you, you had a stint with the Lakers um, a few years ago. What was it like being around LeBron? What was it like being <laughs> on the Lakers and, and just, just you know, be, being on a team like that? Yeah, I mean, uh, it was my first year, so it was, you know, being a kid from Gate City, Virginia, it was like uh, I was in a video game or something, hearing, hearing them talk in a meeting for the first time. So um, I think it was really cool for me to kind of just grow up and see, like, what it takes, like, a guy that's the best in the league, um, you know, in the film room for however long he is in the first one in the gym, like it was like, man, this is this is what it is. Like there's no this didn't this didn't just happen. So that was really big for me to kind of see also guys like Rondo and other vets like Carmelo, just how they kind of took their day to day. It was really cool for me. LeBron's also called you um, one of the greatest dunkers ever. Mm. So line me up here. You against LeBron dunk contest or you and LeBron facing off. How, how, how does that look like? Man, uh, first, that's that's a big honor. I'll tell my kids about that one day for sure. But, um, yeah, I'll probably say, like, you're talking about right now, LeBron, or, like, prime? Oh, man, don't be, we're don't talking be scared. Prime. Say Either it. way. Well, right don't now, too. Either way, I'm say taking, it, say it, say Either it, way, I'm taking you, bro. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I think young LeBron maybe maybe has it. But um, right now, I think I, I could probably get it. He's a humble guy, man. Mm -hmm. uh, you also played last year with a little stint, stint with Philly. What was your favorite part about that? Did you ever get some run with, with the big fella, Joel? How was that experience? Not, not much, really. I think I got, I, got, um, you know, I got my first NBA game where I got over, like, 25 minutes. And, you know, it was like, it was probably just the best, best game I've had in my career. And it was just like, you know, once, once you get a little, you know, taste of the NBA, you just want more. And I was like, it gave me a lot of confidence that game. I had a, a decent game. So it kind of gave me confidence that, hey, I can uh, make an impact. Yeah, and also the last game against Brooklyn, you had that that twenty piece right there. That's not easy to do in the league. Not a lot. A lot of guys can't say they did that. Was were you just in the zone that night? What, what was going on there? Yeah, that was the first game I got more than that twenty was... minutes in the NBA. So it was just like, um, you know, I got to take advantage of this. And you know, being in the G League most of the year, it's like um, you're never downgrading what you're doing at the moment, but uh, <laughs> just being ready for like, hey, I'm doing this because I want to be in the NBA. Mac, I played in the G League when it was called the, the D League, the Developmental League, and <laughs> they were still trying to figure it out and get it off the ground. And uh, we were going through a lot of uh, a lot of growing pains when I when I played in it. What's 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 G League life like now um, versus the NBA life? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely it's definitely grown from the D League, and you know they're doing a great job with that. I would say like it's it's a grind. You know, you're you're going to motels, not hotels. You're you're doing all these things, but it's beautiful because it's like a, as you know, it's a bunch of underdogs and they're all trying to make it. And there's something beautiful about being, being in the gym with these guys, like everybody's chasing a dream. And it's, 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 it's special in a way. Obviously I want to be in the NBA, but I'm definitely not, not proud to be in this league. Mac, you've spent some time around some great players. Another one, Steph Curry, 2022 Warriors training camp. What was that like spending time? Not, not only with Steph, you got Draymond, Clay Thompson, that team, you know, ends up, uh, you know, winning a championship. Like, what was that like? That was really cool, too. I've been lucky, man, to be <laughs> around some of the greatest players of all time in training camps and years in the NBA. So uh, just seeing those guys, the biggest thing I noticed with them was just, um, you know, they would take their time out there to talk to me, like a guy that's like on an unguaranteed contract trying to help me, which just shows like kind of, you know, their kindness and um attention to every detail. Everybody in that organization was really just professional and you can, you see why people win and some organizations don't. So um, yeah, nothing but great things to say about them and uh, being a part of that. I know, I know you think Steph Curry's a GOAT. Do you think he's the best point guard in NBA history? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter because there's no right answer at the end of the day. Everybody has their own opinions, but I, my personal opinion, I do think he is. 
you know what? That's all that matters. The if answer is yes. If you, yeah, you think it, you think it. Um, look, people that may not have been familiar with you are very much familiar with you now after the slam dunk contest last year. You won the whole thing. Uh, do you expect to be invited back? How does it work? Do they talk to you? Um, yeah, I'm not sure. We'll see what happens. They uh, they contacted me last year, and if um, if they do this year, I will just we'll make a decision from there. You, you, if you do get that call, Mac, do you have some some other crazy dunks up your sleeve that no one's seen yet before? Um, maybe a couple. I'm, I would definitely go to work on it, and you know, I'd make sure I, I put all the effort in to come with something that that hasn't been seen before. And also, uh, guys like Shaq, Reggie Miller, these legends, they're talking about how you save the dunk contest, which you did, by the way. How does that feel hearing that? Oh, it's, in it's an incredible honor. I mean, the dunk contest, I think, as a little kid, is just something I would just always just love watching. I don't know. There's something about it. It's just something so magical. And I was like, I was really in awe when I got to be a part of it. I was, like, confused. I was like, okay, like, yeah, I'll do it. But, um, no, it was, it was so cool, man. It was just like a... It was a larger-than-life moment, really, for me. Did you have a personal fave from any of the things you did? Uh, the dunks I did? Yeah. Definitely the first one. I was so nervous, man. I just <laughs> I was thanking God it went in the first time. I think that's one of the biggest things, getting that first dunk to go in. I mean, that I is you. When, people, nervous, when they miss it, and they miss it, just it, it goes down. No, that's crazy. He made all his dunks, he made all too. Like, first all try. First try. I feel like you lose momentum. Like, how, like was that, viewers, was that big grateful. for you? Was that big for you? Like, I know I have to make it on the first try. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's, like you said, it's like deflating to miss. And I'm not going to say if I did it again, I wouldn't miss. I mean, it's like it's partial of luck and, you know, preparation yeah. thing. But I think that momentum of getting your first dunk really is, is everything. You can breathe a little bit easier. Um, in high school, you went viral many, many times for the dunk, so much so that Drake, I just love saying this, slid into the DMs. What, Drake, what are you doing? Uh, but he asked for a jersey. So A, did you send him one? And B, were you worried about the Drake curse at all by sending him anything? Um, I wasn't aware of the Drake curse. Oh, it's bad. Uh, well, no, no. Um, <laughs> the man literally posted a picture of Otani two days before two days he signed with the Dodgers. And then he went to the, the Dodgers. He's <laughs> cursed. But no, I, I didn't. I didn't know about that. But um, yeah, no, he. It was. It was cool to hear that reach out. You know, I think I was. I was actually listening to a Drake song when he slid in my DMs, oh. and uh, it was just a cool moment for me and my my hometown boys. They're all in the car with me, so it was. It was really cool. Okay, that's actually pretty funny. Has anybody else uh, famous sort of messaged you in any capacity that we need to know about? They Chandler likes Not to know about people's dangers. Really. Yeah. <laughs> I know it doesn't have to be romantic. Chandler might make it awkward, but yeah, it doesn't have to be. It could be about dunks, obviously. <laughs> yeah, that night I think there was there was a lot of messages. I didn't even really get on too much about it. It was just you know there was so much going on. So it was it was a bunch of players just showing a lot of That's you awesome. know showing a lot of love. Mac, I, I know how much you take the rest of your game, you know, how seriously you take it. Do you feel like people just view you as a dunker? Like, how do you go about every day proving people, you know, there's a lot more to my game, there's more that I can do? Yeah, I mean, I think maybe when I was younger, it bothered me. And obviously the dunk contest, people are going to think of me as dunk first, absolutely. But it's not like I'm really trying to prove anything to the people that don't know anything about me. Like, if you really love basketball, you research, you know, you'll be like, oh, what is this kid about? You'll go look. You'll go look at my stats. You'll look at the opportunities I've been given and what I've done with them and um, go from there. I'm not really, I'm really, I'm not playing to any type of gallery right now, just <laughs> trying to be the best version of myself. On to the important stuff. <laughs> Your cousin Riff Raff, he once nicknamed you Ivory. <laughs> Aller, your cousin is Riff Raff. His cousin is Riff Raff. He he once nicknamed you yeah, Ivory that's Iverson. It's pretty good, actually. You cool with that nickname? How did you, how did that come about? Yeah, Lou, that's not my cousin. Uh, so All right. uh, he just he just said he was my cousin, and <laughs> you know, I was gonna say even better. I have not I have not got away from that in years. But do you even okay? Do you even know him? Not really. What <laughs> is happening? <laughs> Never met him. What is happening? Mac, have you ever met him? <laughs> Never. <laughs> That's hilarious. How did we oh, get this here? Is great. Uh, uh, I didn't even know. I didn't know. I knew nothing about okay, this. Okay. Well, listen. Question. Not who's your Riff cousin Raff? Riff Raff. <laughs> yeah. Do you like the nickname? You know who Riff Raff is. I've heard of. Do I? Riff Raff. I'm just some Riff Raff, <laughs> man. Here you go. It's not uh, it's, my it's fine with me. I mean, it's. I don't know. Whatever people want to call me, I don't really look into it oh. too much. <laughs> 
That's yeah. That's that's hilarious. You bring that up, man. <laughs> it's trust me. What my I don't even know what to do with this right now. So he's just been going around. Why would why? Why, why would, would he do that? Why would he do that, <laughs> Mac? Why would he do that? He probably so did after the dunk contest. It gets the people going. He probably did after yeah. the dunk contest. It's racial. It's racial. It's always racial. All right. So we've learned something today. I feel like that was the biggest thing. But Ivory Iverson is <clears> kind of a. Do you like the nickname, by the way? I don't hate it. I mean, it's a, it's a compliment for sure. I mean, I, I mean, I don't have a problem with it. <laughs> I kind of love it. Mac, this has been awesome. Um, our entire research department's obviously fired, so we appreciate you for pointing that out to us, and we'll make sure it doesn't happen again. We want to see you in a dunk contest yeah, 100%. again, bro. hundred percent. Make that Matter of fact, I'm not watching unless you're in it, so get back in that thing. Strong take. I like that. Thanks, Mac. Appreciate the time. Good Thank luck rest guys. of the way.